um, a contractor of ours that's been working on the basement decided that um, they were going to terminate our contract due to physical domestic abuse. No, I want. Uh, give me my ash. Give me action. Give me my ash. Oh, action, no. <laughs> All right. It's my baby. It's my baby. No. Say you love me. <laughs> oh, it looks good. What you doing? I'm trying it. For being so extra, it's either good or it's not. It's, I would say it's, it's decent. So, as promised. Stop putting it. I don't like lemon on my stuff. You are not even going to be able to taste it. All right, so we're gonna start this Q and A, uh, updated Q and A because we haven't done one in a while. I say that all the time too. Come on, Nancy, keep calling. Her. Hello. What? <laughs> this gonna have to wait. What? You won't believe what this contractor just said. What? I know you lying. So, um, we're going to temporarily pause the mukbang Q and A for now. Um, something just came up, and I feel. We might as well just go ahead and address it. Um, I feel like it is completely frustrating to have someone make up lies about you and feel that there are no consequences for the lies that you tell. Um, a contractor of ours that's been working on the basement decided that um, they were going to terminate our contract due to physical domestic abuse between Terrell and I and in front of the kids, apparently, which is absolutely false. Um, so pretty much right before we started the Q&A, Nancy kept calling. Um, we hired this contractor. Um, I found him on Thumbtack. Uh, he had pretty good reviews. Um, I needed him to essentially, um, as you guys know, we're getting the basement done, essentially do the baseboards, um, finish out some paint, and do like some window casings. Um, and then at the last minute, we also contracted him to do um, one other task in the movie theater. Um, the window casings and door casings um, seem to be going along well. Um, they're still incomplete, but you know, <laughs> they started on them. Um, and as we continue to move on, the timeline that we were told it was going to get, uh, it was going to take to get completed, um, <laughs> it didn't stay that way. It kept getting pushed back. Um, whenever you're working with multiple contractors, if you don't go in an all-in company, um, you have to kind of source out different people for different jobs. Um, so I had flooring and, and interior design and everybody else waiting. Um, for him to finish certain areas of his project before they can start. Last Wednesday, he was here. I was actually upstairs. Um, he's in the basement. Um, I was actually upstairs on the phone with Nancy. And I had no idea he was even here. Jarius was um, on the main floor with the kids. Um, and this is probably at like 6-ish. Six, um, like around 6.30, 6.45. Yeah, I'm on the phone. Um, Jarius is playing with the kids like he normally does. <laughs> um, 
and you know trying to wear them out before bedtime um i was on the phone and i just hear the doorbell ring and we have a ring camera um the doorbell didn't ring he just walked in no he rang it too he rang it but he walked in because I got an alert. I was at, it was an alert. Someone's at the front door. The doorbell rang, and then we get a chime also. Um, so I'm like on the phone, and I look, and then all I hear is, "Are you guys okay?" And then I hear Jari saying, "Are we okay?" Pretty much, Jari was stumping with the kids, similar to how he does in this video. Oh my god! And so, like as you guys can see, the kids scream really, really loud. So just imagine if you're in the basement and Jarius is playing monsters with the kids and like scaring them. They're screaming, stomping, whatever. Um, I can imagine that it's probably loud in the basement, but I don't think that it's to an extent where it would sound like a fight, if that makes sense. So when he ran in, um, I guess you can kind of say what he said. All I heard was, "Are you guys okay?" And I heard Jarius say. What do you mean if we're okay? Hey guys? Guys? Are you okay? Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. We don't know. Not that y'all, oh, y'all legit ran up here. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I oh, I am so <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I didn't even know y'all was here, actually. I, I didn't even know y'all was here. I've been upstairs. Yeah. But yeah, no, we okay. <laughs> Thank you. Let me know we that And then I noticed that they had cut through the bushes because in order to get to the basement, technically you have to walk around, walk down the hill, then walk around all the way through the sidewalk to get to our basement. But they cut through our bushes to get down. And I was like, oh, y'all like really thought something was going on. Like, at least I know that child would come up in here and check on us. Like if something like that was going on and they were like, yeah, like we got you, blah, blah, blah. So then I come back in the house and I finished playing with the kids, but just obviously a little bit more quietly quietly now um i Which think you shouldn't even have to but right because i didn't even know that he was here tara was upstairs i didn't even know that anybody was downstairs and again i'm in my house where i pay the bills at so i can do whatever i want to do i feel like the the reason i'm so frustrated in this situation is because i think um it was a cop out for him to even try to say that oh well you know the reason I'm terminating your agreement is because of domestic abuse. Well, before we even get there, so pretty much that happened on Wednesday. On Thursday, um, he texts me at eight o'clock in the morning. He pretty much tells me like, here's here's my schedule for today. So I'll put this text message here. Um, and he pretty much just says, you know, dad time until noon. Um, he was going to dump to drop off some trash and then he was headed to our house. Should finish most of the painting and finish out the platform minus the drawer. And then he said all the tools will be out and everything cleaned up from us. So the reason that he mentions that is because we were, the flooring guys were coming the next day. So the flooring guys, everything had to be picked up off the floor, or cleaned up for the most part. So he was coming to get, to do last minute things on Thursday. And then he was coming to pick up his tools. So when Thursday came, um, Nancy was actually here with us. We were doing a walkthrough on uh, uh, the basement, just planning where things were going but he didn't fix anything that day he just kind of came picked up his tools and then left but during that time nancy and i both heard him he got a phone call and he was just like i, I swear to god like i'm on my way i'll be there by 7 45 i'll be there like i'll be there so 
again, we don't know this to be factual, but from the sounds of it, it sounded like another client asking, like, are you coming too? Which would lead me to believe that he was double booked. Um, so which is why he didn't do any work. He had to go to another client because he probably is falling behind. That's important only because when we contracted him, he told us that he had a team. Come to find out later on, he was like the only person doing the painting and everything else. There was two other people helping with like the casings, but he was by himself. And that's a pretty big basement, as you guys can see. So our thoughts is that he got overwhelmed. Um, so that was Thursday. Um, he left. Didn't say much about it. Friday floors was getting installed. So we're all good. Um, I did let him know. I texted him Friday and said, hey, can you come tomorrow to finish this platform? Because where carpet is going, the platform needs to be done. Um, he said he would, but he's booked now, which kind of goes to my point that he was on another job probably behind. Um, so he said, I can't make it out there until Monday. And then I got a bit frustrated because in previous conversations, he said, hey, I'm not taking on any more jobs until I'm done with yours because it's a big job. So I just said, hey, we may need to catch up because this is starting to be a bit confusing. You know, he, he was coming at like two o'clock in the afternoon, leaving at like 4.50, um, you know, days and like that. I think it's also important to note that in his contract that he had with us, he had a start time and an end time. And like, a most date like most contractors, like most contractors have like a... Too. Uh, they get here really early and to be gone by five but business hours it's business hours like you don't come if you come afternoon like the day is gone for the most part which honestly we were flexible in saying like hey if you need to stay a little bit later like you're in the basement let's just get it done so sunday um you know i text him and i actually didn't call i let it go i think we were out that day or something was going on so i didn't even call him i didn't stress Sunday, I let him know, you know, hey, the floors are in. This week, I just want to, like, I can assume, I'll put the message here too, but I was like, you know, it'll be full days for you guys to knock out now that the floors the floors are in. Um, I said, but we should be able to get everything done. He kind of let me know. He was like, my goal is complete by Wednesday. He, he did say, I just want you to understand that I don't work under pressure. Um, Y'all are making great time, and I wish quality and instant results ran hand in hand, but they just don't. So I let him know, like, hey, I don't, I'm not rushing you. I'm just going based off of what we agreed upon because I'm big on timelines. Not only is it just because I want my basement done, but it's also because I have other contractors waiting for you to get done. And then I'm hold like you're holding up their money because I don't pay them until they're done. Oh, and then we didn't even mention that there have been a couple of days even prior to last Wednesday that he was supposed to show up and it was your car broke. Oh, yeah. So I was getting to like, that. I was like, you had situations where... You know the timeline has been pushed back because you had car trouble you had a doctor's appointment um just all kind of stuff that just kept flying up that just kept pushing everything back right so by this time we're frustrated because you should have been done with still this. keeping it professional though like still keeping it professional just saying hey let's just stick to the timeline you know i got a lot of things moving pieces and i just need communication but from the message on Sunday, the last thing was, you know, touche, see you in the morning, man. Like, you know, I get it. You're the man. All of this. Now, mind you, the last time he saw us was Thursday. The incident where he came up running thinking that someone was getting murdered was Wednesday. So we had all this communication. He came Thursday. Um, this doesn't sound like somebody that's fearful or doesn't support spousal abuse or just whatever the situation is, right? Like, we're having whole conversations and I saw you the next day. So on Monday, um, he texts me at nine in the morning, um, wrapping up our last meeting and heading that way. See you all in a few. We're going to stay on that side for a little bit longer this evening. Traffic seems to be better around seven 30. Um, and then like exactly an hour later at 10, 12, he said, headed your way. But then at two 12, I'm checking in at this point. I'm just like, dude, we literally just had a whole conversation yesterday. So like, what's up? So I'm like, you know, I thought we had an understanding. It's already after 2 p.m. Um, X, Y, and Z. By 9 p.m., 9.30 p.m., had not heard anything. Mind you guys, this is the stupid part. He has his red receipts on. So I can see every time you read my message. So you're reading them and you're not responding. So like now I'm getting pissed off. Um, so I told him like super unprofessional, you know, I don't run business that way. Um, you're not communicating. You didn't let me know what's going on. Like at this point, let's just part ways. Um, two, like didn't hear anything from him Monday. Tried to call. Nancy tried to call to get in touch with him to let him know like, hey, you're holding things up. Um, nothing. 
Tuesday, I started sending emails to him, texting them saying, listen, go ahead and issue my refund. Um, you know, like this is over with, like, I don't know what you got going on, but this isn't right. Um, and the, the killer part guys is for a second, I was just like, okay, maybe something happened to him because he's been having a rough couple of weeks. You know, your car broke down, you gotta go to the doctor, whatever. So I'm like, okay, if something happened, but then he was reading the messages. Then to add salt to the wound, we had um, a friend write him and say, hey, do you do business in such and such area on Instagram? He reads it and responds to it and says, yes, I can come out to you tomorrow, X, Y, and Z, like taking on new business. So now we know nothing's wrong with you. You're reading the messages. You're just ignoring us. That brings us to today. So today, Nancy wasn't giving up on it and she was just like, okay, well, let me call. I'm gonna keep calling and I'll end up having, you know, Kurt call and see if he picks up. And so that was the call that I just got um, from her. So he picked up, she said that he sounded like he was panicking. Um, and he says that he's terminating the agreement due to domestic abuse in front of kids. And so here we are. <laughs> so essentially, um, he said that he's terminating the contract because, you know, one of us was getting beat up um, when he was here. Um, and that he does not support that and that he will no longer be returning. Didn't talk about anything with a refund or anything like that, but that was his, his reasons and to reach out to his attorney. So we had to quickly cancel our mukbang, get on the phone with our attorney, um, <laughs> submit everything that was going on, um, all the proof that we had in receipts. Um, and now we're going to have to essentially sue him to get our money back because he's refusing to do so. Not only that, but how, just, just think of it that if this person told someone else that, how long is it before you tell someone else that? And right. what if that gets back to us? Like that, so we're, that, we're, that we're out here abusing each other, especially in front of our kids. And I think you guys know. Like, you know, Terrell and I can argue all day long, but one thing no one can take from us is that we are amazing parents. And we don't even, like, hit our kids. So it's just, like, for you to come and make claims like that when I take parenting so seriously, like, that's such, like, a, a knife in my back almost to somebody that, like, we gave money to, somebody that we were super professional with, and, like, you know... He did good work when he actually did work. And like, I know I personally went down there, which is like, slow pace. <laughs> you know, like, you know, I appreciate the, the, the time you're taking to make sure that things are right. Because he was a very anal person about how stuff was coming out and wanting it to be right. And I, we had already been through like another situation with another contractor. And it's just like, you know, so we had to fire them and let them go. So it was like getting a breath of fresh air with him. So for you to come back and like do all of this, because I don't know, whatever you had because going on. Because you're overwhelmed. I just like feel like that, he was overwhelmed, but I just think that it well, was Well, like, I don't care if you're overwhelmed. Don't come over here like making comments and statements well, like Well, that. just say you're overwhelmed or just say you can't handle the job. But I just feel like it's a way to go about it and not spread rumors and yeah. lies about people like and then it's just like the sad part is, is that in this day and age you know we could have all the receipts in the world and anything like that but guess what the lie is more entertaining than the truth so it's just like hmm before you know it, it well you know they do be arguing on camera so i bet it wouldn't be too far-fetched to think that they out there doing stuff like that in front of their kids or that they really be fighting behind closed doors one thing i can do is, is I, me and terrell can argue all day long i'm not, we're not about to put our hands on each other like at that point we need to separate and go our separate ways and secondly if we did which we didn't but if we did i dang sure wouldn't do it in in front of my kids and then it's just like also take look you've seen the video footage now do you think that if Terrell and I were in here physically fighting that I was in my living room that's by the kitchen you walked into my house it took me time to get over here do you really think that number one that if we were fighting in front of our kids that they wouldn't be in here crying nobody heard that if we were fighting in front of, if we were fighting each other, do you think that I would have walked up to you and just started laughing? I just think that it's, I mean, like, at, at the on. end of the day, like, it's no explanation needed for that. I just feel like if that was your reason, he could have played it off better by not texting me anytime after that or even coming the next day. 
So it's just like he has no basis for what he's saying. I mean, we he probably didn't know that our stuff captured footage, but you can hear him even when they walked out. But it's just like you were texting me saying you were coming. You came the next day and you were coming the next three days. You know, like we were talking like everything was fine. So it's just frustrating. Um, it's definitely just kind of set us back a little bit. Um, it's unnecessary money spending on attorneys and dealing with everything. Um, well, guess what? This is, and I feel like we are people who, you know, even when people have done us wrong in the past, we're just like, you know what? Like, we're not even going to put that much energy into it. No, karma, you like that. karma will serve its purpose with you. But this time, I am going make all an the way. And I will definitely make sure not only am I suing you for my money, but I will also be suing you for defamation. Because what one thing, what no one will do is ever disrespect me as a parent. That's what you won't do. And I'm never going to take that lightly. And it is so upsetting to me that people can literally just say whatever they want to say. And it, there, there's just supposed to be no consequences for, like, the horrible things that people say. No, like, not with me. You're not going to do that with me. So. So, we'll keep you guys updated. I just feel like, just so you know, now that the the basement tour is probably going to be a little bit delayed. And if we're, it seems like we're wrapped up, we're just dealing with BS. But, um that's why i think that it's just really important with like what you comment and things like that like just like be mindful of the things that you say and how like it can affect someone or just like how it can spread like it just sucks but we'll get through it we'll get over it and like i said i think we have enough proof and stuff to <laughs> to make it pretty that, simple but, but it's also just, like, just just think about if we didn't come and make this video right we sometimes you guys like will get on and you'll say oh well we look like this or you know it seems like we're frustrated i just feel like we push through a lot that you guys don't know so and this is an example of it but appreciate you guys listening we'll 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 reschedule the q a um sometime soon um i was really looking forward to them crab legs but, oh, want to eat now. but um again like i said we'll get through it um and hopefully we can get um, this basement and stuff done so I can have everybody at my house for the most part. So thank you again for watching. We love you so much. And until next time, peace out, y'all.